we kept trying, and, and finally, after numerous meetings and just getting a runaround, we, we kind of surmised that the plan, other than they're doing their job as bankruptcy people and selling off the companies to give the, to give the company the, what money they could raise, they really wanted to buy North Face. They wanted to keep North Face for themselves, and they actually thought we were pretty capable, and they didn't really want us running Sierra Design. So the, the deal kept changing, the timing kept changing, and so finally we reached a point, and it happened to be on... Halloween day in, in uh, 1993, where we were having a Halloween party, and I, I had prepared to make one last offer, and if, if the offer wasn't accepted, uh, I, I was gonna leave, and, and once I left, uh, I was gonna ask some other people if they would like to join us in starting a new business. So I had a cowboy outfit on, I had a Stetson hat and my boots and, and my jeans, and I walked over to North Face and met with uh, Marty Case, and then I asked him one more time, I said, will you give us a specific proposal to buy the company. We've got financing. We're, we'd like to buy Sierra Zines. And, and it was clear he wasn't going to do that. So I handed in a resignation letter at that point. And I also had a second letter in my pocket from Paul Kramer, who happened to be in the Far East working on product development. And, and uh, I said, I said, I don't know what Paul's letter says exactly, but he's instructed me that if I resign, he wants you to have this letter too. So I handed over Paul's letter and, and pretty soon uh, he read them both to me and said, well, you better go back and clean out your desk. You're uh, no longer employed here. And, and uh, it was about two in the afternoon. And so I walked, walked back over to the company and told people what had happened. And, and uh, they did ask us to have a meeting. And, and I, this, was, this was one of the kind of tough parts of the meeting because there were some very capable people at Sierra Zines. And there were really only, I think, six of us at the time. We added a couple shortly thereafter, but we had to, you know, we had to tell some people that were there that, that, that we were going and they were staying and, and hopefully the opportunity would be, uh, would be good for them. But uh, by the end of the day, uh, the people, uh, the locksmith showed up, the uh, locks changed on the door and uh, uh, other than a few things I left behind, which I had to pick up later, uh, we were out of there. And the next Monday we were on our way to a new place.